love you, June. I'm with the first army. I had to wait for the army to come. I know you're a good soldier, so I don't have to do any worrying about you. I hope I don't get sent under the ship. Daddy's like, I'm being jumped to stand up around there. Sure is a nice night. I had to get the girls. Those times it makes you feel pretty homesick. You should be home in enough time to get in a little deer hunting. I got my license last night. Hope you have all the details taken care of for your wedding. I am feeling better, but not tip top yet. Still a pain off and on every day and night. Doc should soon come up with something. I've had all x rays and tests. Happy birthday, dear. Trying to find this. Thanks, Diane. You're welcome, Grim. Well, it's about time you showed up. Can't play three hand and the third hand, you know. Sorry, tough day. Well, did you grab any beers? I got what was left in the ice pot. Here, June. Let me help. Well, I'll take two. Oh, I was counting on having one. You? A beer? Test me a beer. Okay, okay. Can anyone grab an opener? They're open, Harry. What a way to start the game. And we haven't seen each other in months. Would you lighten up a bit? Christ, I'm parched, and it's time to play already. Jim, why are you hiding the peanuts? Calm down, Harry. Why are you so jumpy? You be jumpy too. Dear Katie and Donna, take good care of Daddy's car. Help Mother around the house. And I'll get you lots of ice cream when I get home. Daddy loves you. Dearest June, just a quick car before I go to Chow. Everything is going along fine here. Now don't forget to hurry up with those pictures for me. I love you, Harry. Dear Daddy, we rake the leaves in the yard, and we are helping Granddad with his garden. We take turns feeding the dog, and we wash the car real good. Hugs and kisses, your girls. Hi, June. How are you? Busy day with the girls? No. Yes. Well, busy. Hi, Gran. It's been a while. Are the girls okay? Fine, Harry, just fine. Who's got the deal? I think it's me. It's June. Ladies start. Harry, why are you covered in red? Is that blood? Can I help you wipe it off? What red? Oh, that's not much. Harry, are you hurt? Not anymore, June. Now deal them out.
Hi, June. Hi, man. Can I help you some? If you would like to help drive, that would be nice. Sure thing. Christmas. When did it get like this? Not looking forward to the holiday. This is close. Harry and I had a good sized fight. What about? If I might ask. The usual. I'm a stupid actor. He never wants to hear about the clutch. Whoever really does, I suppose. Well, we Bickle boys can be pretty bullheaded at times. That's true. No. So you argue about the money. What young couple does it? I'm expecting again. I haven't even told Harry. I'm worried about how he's going to take the news. It'll be all right. Underneath it all, he's a sweet kid. How many in the kitty? I always get confused playing three hand. Three. And do we have partners? No, it's every man for himself. Bowers? Oh, no, that is Euchre. Ace, ten, king, queen, jack, and nine. Got it. We go through this every time, don't we? Yep. Always the same. Remind me how much a run's worth. <sighs> Maybe we should just play Go Fish. <laughs> yeah, or I bet there's a deck of old maid cards around here somewhere. <laughs> Pump Jack number five tried to give me the bums rush this morning, yeah. but I showed it a thing or two and got it working again. <laughs> Coffee? No, June, pack me some. Oh, I ran into coach the other day. What do you have to say? Anything worth repeating? Uh, not much. You said the baseball team's looking pretty good this year. Who's pitching? Red Eye Mooney. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, flung me this Indian arrowhead up by Tuna Creek. Oh, that'll make the old man jealous. Hmm? He's gonna want this, you know. Yeah? Well, I might just give it to the girls. <laughs> so, mother tells me that you drove up to Salamanca to enlist. What are we gonna tell me? I'm sorry I didn't tell you right away, Harry. It's my ticket out of here, you know, but it's still hard for me to leave. Uh, aren't you scared at all? Nah. I figure everything will blow over before I have to worry about things getting too serious over there. Oh, well. I guess looking after Mother and Dad just falls on the Kenny and me that. We all know that Kenny's nothing more than a loudmouth who's always looking for a fight and can't be trusted on. So pretty much just falls on to me. <laughs> kind of selfish of you. You joining up and me feeling sorry for myself. Nah, I get that, Harry. And I appreciate you holding down the fort for me while I'm gone. Yeah, well, I can do that then. A run is worth 15, June, and you open for 24. No, you open for 21 and you're stuck for 20. Okay, 21 it is. 21. 22. Pass. 23. 24. Figures. Wow, you sure do look pretty today, June. Are you feeling all right? Thanks. A bit queasy. It has been a hot one, huh? <laughs> but here, I picked these for you from Mother's Garden. Hope she doesn't miss you too much. June? Yes, Harry. Dad says we can fix up the shed behind the house and make it nice to live in. No, no, we'll get it looking good in no time. You'll see, Junie. It's enough space for a bedroom and a main room. There's already electricity. We just have to use the main house for water. You're doing the best you can, Harry. <laughs> Dad was so mad when he found out today. He slammed the back door shut, heading up the hill to talk to your father. He he won't even look at me now that he knows I'm in that way. Mother said we had to go out of town to get hitched. We gotta keep it all hush-hush from the neighbors, she said. You really should finish school, Harry. This is such a mess. No, I've decided there's no reason for me to go back. The only thing I'll be missing is playing ball. If Dad can talk to the foreman, I bet you I can start working on the oilies right away. He and Fran can learn me the ropes. I mean, they've been working there long enough. I wish I could give you a big church wedding instead of rousing up the minister at the parsonage at dinner. 
That sure is a funny way to get things started up. <laughs> I love you, June. And I will spend the rest of my life making this up to you. And I, you, Paris, will be okay. Ready? Ready. <laughs> my, you sure do look pretty, June. June Rock Rock, Harry Bickle, please follow me. Anybody hear about Howard? Smiles got a telegram just two days ago telling her he's a German prisoner of war. Well, it must have been pretty scary for Shorty. I would think it would be tough on anyone, Harry. Hey, that's my ace, son. So it is. What's Trump again? Spades. Right. Hard to remember when your hand is nothing but red. Hey, how's Katie doing in school? Okay, I guess. Getting good grades. She has some nice friends. Good thing she got her mother's brains. Harry, can you clean off your hands, please? I'm getting the cards to keep. Hey, June, thanks for helping the girls write to me. Are they still eating their ice cream? <laughs> yeah, friend. You should get stock in ice cream. Those are the kids eat you be a rich man. <laughs> June, we have any more beers? No, those were it. Whiskey, then? I don't know. You're... Father might have some stashed away somewhere, I think. Hi, boy. Well, I got your letter yesterday. Glad to hear you got a raise. This isn't such a bad place to live. The work is easy, and they feed you, and they don't find you. So you don't have any worries. We don't go up in these balloons. They're tied to the ground with a cable. I got a new gun. All we do nights is clean it and learn how to handle it. You should see me marching around, posing so all the girls can take my picture. <laughs> sure is some fun. We'll take care of the folks back home. And if June gets her license, have her take them out every once in a while. We'll take care of everything that calls you Francis on the street. Love your brother, Fran. <laughs> Of course. Oiled and clean. Posing for pics down at Basic, huh? Not bad for an afternoon chore. Oh, and how are the dames down in Panama? Just a bit darker? Harry! Well, he's pretty much right, June. My uh, pasty side stuck out like a sore thumb down there. <laughs> Where do you know? France. Well, up in Forbach. Where? Forbach, June. Up in French North Country. Oh. Wee wee. And how are the French dogs? It's your lead, Harry. We're playing cards, not keeping score on your brother's love life. You're always correcting me, ain't you? <laughs> hey, you'll never guess we did an inspection in Baston. Ooh, Franny. I'll tell you. So we were laying down wires for hours, and I find myself falling in for patent. Oh. The old man himself gave me the up and down, and I was not up to snuff. Oh, goodness. And I'll tell you what else. Things were a whole lot easier down in Panama. I sure do miss those tropical breezes. Come on, Pat. What? You don't believe me? Should I? Hi, Dad. I've been meaning to write to you, but it's just so hard to write all the time. The other night I almost got what you wanted. Most of the men here have them. I'm an old man at this game now. I learn more in two hours here than you do in 17 weeks of basic back in the States. I have a bad cold, but I look for it to let loose. The snow is two feet deep here, but today is a nice day. The sun is shining. I, I have a carbine and it sure is dandy. dandy. So oh, you quit. quit. I don't blame you. Anymore. You should have did it long ago. Of course, it finds out here that money can't buy you anything. You can't even buy a candy bar. If you could, it'd be eight bucks. Yeah, so just think of that. I can't get Francis to write to me so I can find out where he is. He can't be too far from me. Well, Dad, don't get mad if you can't read this. I know the writing's small. I have three letters from June this time. First news from home or anywhere else. Well, Dad, 
right when you can? Your son, Harry. For you. Just a minute, Diane. Let me finish and we can look at it together. Well, can I help you? I really miss our times together, Grandma. That would be nice, dear. Can you read it and look for my mistakes? I will be happy to. Okay. What time is Grandpa coming home? Well, he should be here in a few hours. I'll have to rustle up some dinner soon so we can get to the movie on time. I can't wait to see Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> I wonder what it's about. You think there will be a Fiddler <laughs> on a rope? <laughs> <laughs> Who's to know? We'll all three find out together. I wish I didn't have to leave you, Grandma. Ever. <laughs> we still have a few more days and then it's off to the lake. Sounds like a good deal to me, <laughs> Diane. Nah. Let's see this latest edition hot off the press. <laughs> oh, your interview with Mrs. Downey made the banner headline, I see. Charlie eats another birthday cake. <laughs> do you think I drew her okay? It's hard to do from memory. I do, but I don't think Charlie is quite that heavy. Maybe there's another article coming out soon about puppies on the way. <laughs> And this one here, about Grandpa's arrowhead collection? That drawing was easy to do. You're close on Salamanca, dear, but there's only one M. Is that your army issue? Sure is. You want to see it? Looks new. Right, here it is. Guns. My deal? No, it's friends. Loaded? No, and hands off. We're playing cards, remember? Pity. But this one is... What are you doing, June? Hey, I'm serious. You can hurt somebody with that. It's not the same thing as a hunting gun, you know. You're saying it has a quick trigger. Oh, ha, ha. You know, this really isn't funny, you know? I've had enough gun friend shell explosions for a lifetime. Now, I didn't need this tonight, too. I keep pretending everything is all right. I go through the motions, but I'm not okay. I'm not. And sometimes I think I am. And there it is. It is such a simple thing. It was really the last straw. Why don't you just sit down and tell me about it? Hand me the gun. No! Oh. Yeah, June, why don't you just do what he says and take a seat, all right? Be quiet, will you? Really, June, you are scaring me. Sit down! I am more than a bit confused about this card game. How did I know to bring some beers up here? But we don't usually play up here, do we, Diane? I don't know, Grandma. All day long, the snow has been coming down. Wind screaming outside. Oh, was it inside, the screaming? We all went to town. It wasn't too bad then, this is the snow, I mean, because we needed food and there was no food left. I, I mean, nothing. It's been weeks since we've been to the store. The tires Eddie recapped are holding up. It's good, June. It's really No, bad. they're not. That's a lie. They're all smooth and here I am driving in this weather with Frank and the girls sliding everywhere. Flossie Downey runs up the sidewalk. 
opens the door covered in snow, never even let me answer her nothing. Her hair wild in her headscarf, and she lets me know someone official was ringing the door while we were out. She saw him from her kitchen window. She knows. Flossie knows. We all know he was delivering a telegram. I tell her, if it's important enough, he will come back. In a snit, I was nasty. Flossie leaves, apologizing. I put supper on. Smiles shows up. May with Harriet in tow and my dad and Viola. Jeez, Frank must have called all the troops in or something. Just what I need, an audience. Clean up the kitchen. The girls are playing with their paper dolls. Smiles, Viola and May having coffee, talking, talking, talking. Your dad reading the paper. Oh, I can see it all as if looking from above. My dad sitting still in the corner. And there it is. Everything stops. Everybody stops. They're all looking at me, wondering if I hear it, if I'm going to the door. Is it about Harry? Is it about Francis? Why doesn't Frank go? Why is it me? I go. The girls stand next to me, one on either side, like this. I open the door. Mrs. Harry Bickle? Yes, I hear myself say. This is for you. I open the envelope and I read it to myself. Everyone's clamoring at me. I don't know if I answer anyone I must have because it gets quiet again. I walk to the icebox and grab some beers. I'm sorry, June. I really am sorry. I can just get to the attic and lock myself away from all of the voices. They are so deafening tonight. The key. Where's the key to the damn gun cabinet? Who wants a beer, Diane? This gun. Your army issue, friend. It would be much easier using this, yes. Much better than that old hunting gun. Grandma, no. there sounds real good, but I guess I won't get too excited over it. Something is liable to upset the apple cart. <laughs> I sure wish I could see you soon, darling. Wouldn't that be grand? That day will come sometime anyway. I will wait. I love you, dearest. June. Let's see that kitty. Wait, didn't you just deal? Let's never mind that. It's not like it would help me out anyway. Meld? Eight. Thirteen. And I have eighteen. Better. Mm -hmm. War. War. It's not just in Europe, you know. Dear Dad. Just a quick letter to let you know I'm still thinking about you. You're probably getting pretty fat, aren't you? I hope you're not working anymore. Just take things easy. This should be over before too long. Well, there's not really much to write about over here. Spent New Year's and Christmas in my foxhole. And I ate my turkey there, too. I almost got what you wanted the other night. It was just a bit too late. I wish I could just stay here till this was all over. I read the Bible every night now and I hope that makes you and everyone feel better. Make sure you're going to church and take Junie and the girls with you. God, I do love that girl. Tell her that I do. 
Well dead. Right? As I like letters. You're stuck in Harry. What's a sister got to do to get in a card game around here? <laughs> oh, could you deal me in? No. Game starts. Pinnacle, my specialty. Isn't this out of your league, sister? It's very popular with the Germans, don't you know? Are you like a nun or something? This is a bit much. Yeah, I guess anyone can just show up. Yeah, maybe Churchill will want to any up next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got any cigars, sister? Maybe she's got some scotch hidden up her sleeve. Call me Mary. And this is right up me alley. Wait, aren't you more of a Catholic thing? What do you want with us Methodists, anyhow? Yeah, now if Jesus showed up and wanted to play around, we might consider it. Yeah. You're kind of messing up the game here, sister. Not meaning any disrespect, but we're playing freehanded and game started and all. Well, dear, for starters, I've brought along some Chianti. <laughs> well, I was told never to crash a party without bringing something for the hostess. Company D, on your feet! Fall in, men! June? No, I think I've had plenty. Sister? Mary, and uh, please, ju just half. There, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> Having a difficult time, my child. Yes, you could say so. It is a mortal sin to commit suicide. It's... well, it's just a thought, you know. I, I'm never going to do it. We're carrying out an attack at dawn. Sound off, one, two. Sound off, three, four. Why can't I feel my feet? You're not going to finish your hand, little brother? Why don't you just give it to the nun or whatever? All right, you're lost. Sound off, one, two, sound off, three, four, cadence count, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The snow stopped falling. But now the moon is out, I mean, can't those Nazis see us? Sound off, one, two, sound off, three, four. I didn't hear anything. Everything got so bright, but I didn't hear a thing. Hear what, little brother? They say you don't hear the one that gets you. Do you know that? Yeah, I've been told. Guess they were right. I remember the, the, the snow turning red and the outline of the pine trees that caught my eye. Yeah, is that a deer, friend? Take the shot, I whispered. It was almost like I was at home. It's nothing like being at home. Well, you sure got some good cards there, Mary. Being the mother of God sure seems to be paying off for you. It's always something, isn't it? Just when you think you have your whole life ahead of you, everything changes in a minute. Ain't that the truth? You come inside from playing one day and mother starts coughing up blood. Before you know it, she's gone. You're sitting there, minding your own business, when all of a sudden the angel Gabriel's speaking to you. And then this old fella shows up to say that you've betrothed. That's not even how it works, you say to yourself. And the pregnancy. Can't talk about that shite. Now, doesn't anybody care that I got lit up by a shell? Well, I better be going. <laughs> well, I got you 26 more points. You're welcome. That was a bit strange. Oh. Hand me the deck. I've got the deal. Hi, June. How are you? Busy day with the girls? No. Yes. 
No. Busy. Hi, friend. It's been a while. Is everything all right? Just you and father back at the house? Will you just leave her alone already? Am I bothering you, June? Why are you getting so upset over a little conversation, huh? It's nothing. Nothing? I'll show you nothing, you wise idiot. You know it all. Hey, calm down, son. No, I ain't your son and you ain't my boss. All right. Frank, you make me, you make me so mad sometimes I don't even know if I want to speak it out. Well, that's fine. I no, 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 you don't. No, friend. You got to graduate high school, big three letter man, varsity all the way, but not me. No, I had to quit just when my pitching started getting good. And then the old man. He tells us we're gonna live out back in the shed, the shed, goddammit, like, like paupers. Somehow we were the laughing stock of this smarmy little town. Well, I'm sorry that you feel cheated, little brother. But what do you want me to do about it, huh? I really want to know. What? I don't know. I just... <sighs> I can't do anything about it, friend. It's done. It's not easy over there, Harry. You've seen things, done things, things that no one should have to live with. I understand nightmares, boy. I really do. How is your day, dear? <laughs> Banner day, June. It was a banner day. The sun was shining, all the lunch packs was delish. Ah, so what do we have here? The girls can have their pumpkins, I see. Not too bad. <laughs> Where's the paper? Coffee, and it's oh, right over there. Thank you. Where are the girls? They ran down to Mrs. Downey's to borrow me a couple of eggs. She'll be back in a bit. <laughs> I'm sure she's spoiling their supper with some milk. <laughs> Mrs. Nickel. Oh. Yes, there's some trouble on the lease. There's plenty of food. Can we talk you into staying for dinner? <laughs> Thanks, no. And uh, everything's okay on the job. I wish I could stay for dinner, but Mom has a uh, supper on at home and is expecting me soon. I just wanted to stop by and let you know. I got my notice to report to Fort Davis. How soon? That came up fast, friend. We are going to miss having you around, the girls especially. Yeah, things will surely be different. I take the train early next week. I promise to take care of the folks where you're going, friend. I know you will. And I'm not gone yet. And let me show you out. Bye, friend. I'll miss you. Dear Jew, how is Dad doing these days? I suppose he isn't doing much of anything. I bet he gets on your nerves a lot. If he gets in your way around there, just tell him to go fishing or something. I, I hope, hope he's, he's getting, getting enough of exercise. You, you should make him help you with all the housework. June, June if there, there is anything you need, let me know, and you can be sure it will be done. Just keep the chin up, and everything will work out all right. Well, I'm going to get a little sleep now. Right. And tell me your troubles. That helps a lot sometimes. Forever. Francis. What the hell? We're heading out of four back at dawn, June. I gotta go. You can't! Who won? We, we need you know, friend. Nobody, June. Nobody ever wins. Some days it feels like the whole town is whispering your name as you walk on by. Seems so unfair, like there's no way out. Harry's dead, isn't he? Yes. Thought so. 
I hope we both don't get left behind over there. Bye, June. Get the girls some ice cream for me. Tell Donna it's from me. That homestead is yours as long as you want it. Uh, it's the least that I could do. You got some good kids there, June. Fred, no, not yet. It's time. Take care of them. I will. Well, kid. Looks like you're on quite the adventure now. No hard feelings, I hope. No hard feelings, Fred. Here. I guess I don't need these anymore. I'm scared, Fred. I know, Harry. I don't know what to tell you. I love you. And I will see you again someday. Until then, keep the chin up. <laughs> Until then. Don't leave. Please, not yet. Harry, I can't do it alone. I, I just can't, don't you see? How will I go on without you? Mama died tonight, Junie. Maybe Nana can come live with us. I'm just little, Mama. Well, June, come next spring, you'll have a stepmother. Why? Are we fine the way we are? We won't need Nana anymore. Oh, we do. I love Nana. Bye, Nana. Bye, Nana. What do you mean you think you're expected? Are you trying to pull my leg or something? Sorry, Harry. Welcome to our new high school auditorium, where we will be graduating our high school senior class on this day. Miss June Rothrock will now take the podium to dispense the valedictory address. Ladies and gentlemen, 1937 is an outstanding date in the history of the American public school system. It was just a hundred years ago when Horace Mann succeeded in achieving the first steps in the development of tax-supported schools. As we head out into this brave new world, we proudly remember our class motto. Sink or swim! Who chose that? There are names for girls like you, June. I'm just glad your mother's not alive to see this day. That's not fair, Ted. I expected so much more from you. I know, I have tried so hard. How are we supposed to hold our heads up at church? Is that what you're worried about? You'll get married right away. I'll talk to old man Bickle myself. How did I get here? No, I am a rich man. It sure was a great movie, wasn't it? That's a lovely drawing of me, Diane. May I keep it? Of course, Grandma. I'll put it on the refrigerator. Circus peanuts? Thanks, Grandpa. I'm hitching the horse up for a sled ride. Who's coming? I'll get the girls bundled up. Katie, Donna. Look at all those lights. So pretty. I love Christmas! When we was young, we made the best popcorn balls in town, right, friend? We did, kid. We did. Diane, you seem to be having a lot of mood swings lately. They call that manic depression. That's terrifying. Is that why I feel this way? Grandma and I are selling the house in Limestone. No, Michigan isn't too terribly far, dear. You can visit us over the summer. Who knows a ten-letter word for a Neil Simon play? Going to town, who wants to come along? Heading to the bank, all the tellers know me by name. But can we get a pie, Gramps? My stomach hurts pretty bad. Maybe when the summer ends, I'll get to the doctor. You shouldn't wait that long, Graham. Only a few months more before I get my Medicare. Damn it. I'm sorry you hurt you. Maybe if I was there instead of here. I have cancer, dear. We want to get to your wedding, but I need an operation. I understand. Heading to basic, June. Stop to say goodbye. Bye, friend. Be careful. My draft number came up, June. No, not now. Not you, too. I'm sorry, but you and the girls have to move in with Dad. But he doesn't like us. Would you open the door already? Can't you hear the buzzer? Do I have to? It's, it's not, not just, just about, about you, June. It's never about me! Regret. 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 Stop. Express deep regret. Express deep regret. Deep regret. Express, 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 Stop. Express. Killed. Killed. 
In action! Kill in action! Kill in action! February 17th, 1945. Stop. The Secretary of War desires me to express his deep regret that your husband, Private First Class Harry L. Fickle, was killed in action on 28th January in Belgium. Confirming letter to follow. Where are you, Harry? Where are you? I might have lost my love. Oh, I'm right here, June. I'm right here. Right in front of you. I love you, June. I will always. Love you. And I, you, Harry, I love you too. Oh, life's a funny old game, ain't it? We rolled the dice and came up short on time. But we never came up short on how much we cared for each other, right? Yes, I know that, Harry. Well, friends, sweet on you. <laughs> Can't say I blame them much. You are the prettiest girl in town. Like, I'm not. I'm not very fond of the idea, but he can help you and the girls when he musters out. I don't know, Harry. I've never thought about him that way. You've got to believe me. Don't worry none about me using a gun on anything but a squirrel. <laughs> hmm. I feel a mite better. You. As much as I can. Can I have this? Seem to have lost the one that you sent me. Okay. Well, I, I guess this is it. I guess so. <laughs> I'm ready. Those for the girls. <laughs> Bye, Judy. See in the funny papers. Goodbye, my love. Harry! Harry, I forgive you. I forgive me. Hi, Judy. How are you? Busy day with the girls. No. Yes. Well, busy. Hi, Harry. It's been a while. Long time no see, little brother. How are things on the other side? Just about what you'd expect. Well, looks like you put out a little bit of weight there, huh? <laughs> Just a little. And it's all paid for, you know. And it has been quite a while since we've last seen each other. Now, she does look a bit like you, Jim. Yes, I do believe so, Harry. Diane, this is your grandfather, Harry. He was killed in the war. Harry, this is your granddaughter, Diane. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I understand that you just got married. Congratulations. Thank you, Harry. Who wants to play around? Sounds good. Hey, are there any more peanuts lying around here? <laughs> What's drunk? Diamonds, June. Diamonds. Oh, that's good for me. Lead them like you got them, Harry. <laughs> Chapter two. Neil Simon's play, Chapter 2. There's the answer to your crossword puzzle. My very first Broadway play. You and Grandpa took me to see it. 1979. That was our last trip together. It's the, the big 
pain, Grandma. I'm here, do you? It, it, it feels like there's a hatchet buried at, at the back of my neck. There's these pictures, movies telling me how to do it myself in my head, and I'm really scared. Take it one day at a time, dear. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. It's just a thought, you know, I've had them too. You need to talk to someone, see a doctor. Without insurance, you'll find a way. You come from a long line of strong stuff. June's dead, isn't she? She is, Harry. She is. I thought so. When it's time, it's time. Keep it safe. Soldier. I'll take good care of them. Well, June, it's time for me to be heading back to Michigan. Until we meet again. I did my best. You take good care of her, little brother. Don't you worry none about that. And your best? That's good enough for me. Bye, Francis. Thank you for everything. I will see you again someday. Grandma, I'm not ready yet. Sometimes it is such a struggle to live, and other times I want to live forever and do so many things, but... I know, dear. Do your best. I miss you already. And I do. Bye, Grandma. Bye, dear. I am ready, Harry. I have waited such a long time. <laughs> Hi, June. Oh, it feels nice to have you by my side again. Grandma? Graham? I'm sorry you had so much pain. details worked out for your wedding. These next two months will fly by. No, you will look lovely. I'm feeling, feeling better, but, but not tip-top yet. Still have pain off and on every day and night. Stock should soon come up with some. I've had all x-rays and tests. Happy birthday, dear. It's going to be all right. It already is. We love you. Don't forget to enjoy yourself some ice cream. And forget me not.